It's such a beautiful morning and I don't know if you can hear the birds, the birds are chirping and I also don't know if you can hear in the background uh, the church, the village church is uh, there, um, the, the priest is singing because Orthodox Easter is not the same time as Catholic Easter so we are a few weeks uh, afterwards and usually this time coming up to the Easter we always hear the, the song from the church, um, the prayers from the, from the village church but I don't know if the microphone is picking it up and it's such a beautiful morning. I woke up relatively early today, which is not usual for me. But last night, yesterday was the day that uh, we had the live, uh, not live, but uh, that uh, the Nithaton was um, on. And I went uh, as a premiere uh, with my video. And I wanted to thank everybody who showed up because it was the first time that I did something like that. And it was so nice to kind of see all of you in one place and to be able to communicate with you and in real time and to write down and to see so many people from all over the world. It really touched me. I even had like a stage fright for some reason. I mean, so thank God I didn't go live. God knows how I would be if I went live, if I had a stage fright just for, uh, for the premiere. But it was really nice uh, having you all there. And as I said, it's such a beautiful morning. The, um, it's quite hot. The spring, summer, however you want to call it, uh, came. I mean, it's spring for us, but for most of you, this would be the summer weather. And just above me, the swallows are making the nest again, and they're flying above me. And I was looking at the garden today, and uh, the, um, the lettuce, all the winter, um, salad greens they they went into seed which i'm going to let them go into seed so i can collect them so i can plant them uh, either in autumn or i'm going to make some um, these uh, how are they called like baby greens no they're not baby greens they're um Oh, if I remember, I'm going to put it on uh, on screen. But uh, when you plant lots of uh, lettuce and uh, and kale and stuff like that, and microgreens, microgreens, that's the word, and you harvest them when they are very little, because that I could grow in the summer. Otherwise, everything else bolts. But I'm going to collect the seeds from uh, from the the salad uh, greens that stayed from the winter. We had to uh, harvest most of our citrus because the citrus trees are in bloom now and I don't want uh, the energy from the tree to go to the actual fruit. I wanted to focus on the flowers and producing new fruit so we harvested our grapefruit last week and I think we have, and oranges as well, and we have some uh, more lemons as well. But the whole garden smells of these citrus flowers because we have those couple of uh, citru citrus trees and it's this sweet smell that we have at this time of the year. I came outside to work a little bit on a hat that I'm knitting, that I was uh, knitting on uh, during the premiere of the of the video yesterday and I showed you that I was working on uh, this uh, green uh, hat in, in uh, Drops Flora however when I finished with the first ball I realized that maybe it's a bit uh, it's a bit too wide so what I did I didn't unravel it I just put it on hold before I add the second ball because there are 50 gram balls and uh, I'll see maybe for uh, I make it for one of my stepsons but for now I put it on hold 
and I started working on another hat which is uh, I'm holding two strands together of um, I'm holding this uh, cashmere yarn and I'm holding it with uh, cobweb merino and it's creating this beautiful fabric those are my colors I love this neutral colors but also I find it very elegant I hope it actually shows if it doesn't show because the the light is behind me so I don't know how well it's going to pick it up but if it doesn't show I'm going to show it later on when I go inside last night after the premiere of the video I was so tired and normally I'm a night owl and I stay up late and I trade but last night after the premiere uh, maybe it was all the adrenaline and I just sat on the couch and I started crocheting on uh, one of the blankets I did not last even 20 minutes or so I didn't even move the crochet blanket and put it aside I just put the hook on the on like the armrest of the couch and I was watching piece for piece uh, crafting uh, and he just started Michael just started talking and I left the crochet hook I left the blanket right there next to me I put my head on the pillow and I think he just put me to, to sleep in a good way in a good way uh, I think I watched maybe 10 minutes of it and I just passed out so I'm going to have to catch up um, on his video today but what is nice I love falling asleep with uh, with some of the some of uh, the podcasters as well because it just feels like a friend is you're hearing a friendly voice as you're falling asleep like they're telling you a bedtime story and it's such a comforting feeling for me so no it doesn't mean that they're boring it, it, quite the opposite it's just such a relaxing feeling and it puts me at ease and I fall asleep nicely like that
Jake. Where's Jake? Oh, hey, Jake. There's Jake. Come, Jake. Oh, Come. he's a good boy. Yeah, you were here the whole night. Jake, say good morning. Say good morning. Actually, I can't even see if he's in the... Okay. No, oh. he wants to go to you. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's cool. You okay? Shall I say please? So I finished, uh, I almost finished the skein of that uh, cashmere yarn and uh, this is how much I, because I was holding it with this uh, cobweb uh, merino and this is how much I got of the tube for the hat. So now what I'm thinking to do, it's kind of the, I'm experimenting but I'm hoping it's going to work. I don't know if, the, if there is enough length. I'm going to pull this part inside, make it a double layer, bring the cast on edge towards the end here, and uh, bind it off uh, together. And then once I do that, I'm going to cinch it on the top, and uh, hopefully I'm going to get a hat. So let's see. Let the water go where it wants to go You can run and hide You can bury yourself beneath the stones Somebody told me don't pretend Cause everyone can use So I'm at the very end of uh, of the row. The, I'm going. I'm doing the last few stitches of picking up. Now, one thing that if this works, what I'm going to do next time is do the cast on edge in uh, white yarn because it really would make it easier to see where I'm picking up, um, where I'm inserting the needle when I'm picking up the second layer of the stitches. So I think that would uh, help. Okay, so I'm done now. And what I'm going to do is just basically cut a certain piece of certain length of yarn here. And just get uh, these stitches off with the needle. I'm not going to do any decreases. I'm just going to take it off uh, of the needle and just scrunch it up and sew the top together.
take a breath Let me be a part of something real mm. Someone said it's better when You hold on to a helping hand Sometimes we could all use a friend I wanted to show you how uh, the head turned out. I uh, washed it, I blocked it, and I put uh, the pom-pom on. It's the first time I attached uh, a pom-pom on, on a hat. Actually, <laughs> I don't usually need hats, so uh, it's kind of a lot of firsts. But uh, let me show you how it turned out. It's a bit too big to wear it just uh, like this as a slouchy hat, which it was not really intended for that anyway, but it kind of looks cute. The way that uh, I'm planning to wear it is um, with the folded uh, with the folded brim like this. They are really nice presents, I think, and I'm happy that it worked out like that. The next one I'm probably going to try to um, make, uh, maybe not seam it together and just gather one top, but gather both sides and then put one into the other and seam it like that. That's how they uh, make uh, on those circular knitting machines, which I do have. But uh, I find the fabric a bit loose when I uh, when I do on those circular like central or adding knitting machine. So the next one I'm going to try like that. But OK, so this is how this one turned out. And uh, we spoke to uh, my stepsons uh, that uh, live in Finland and one of them showed me a hat that um, uh, that he has and uh, the old my older stepson wanted a similar hat and they're very interesting construction I think um, I think it's their traditional kind of Lapland uh, hat construction where they go straight like this that they're not gathered on the top and uh, he wanted me to make one so I did. I can't try it on because it's. Uh, I washed it and it's still drying, so it's wet. So it won't stay like this. But this is how it looks. And I have a really funny picture that uh, that I took uh, that I'm probably going to insert here because if I put this on, you won't get uh, the the idea. I knitted this one out of uh, Drops Lima and this is mosaic knitting on the top which I have just uh, designed the chart and I wanted to try it out and it came together very quickly. It, um, I knitted this in two days because it's a, it's a thick yarn, uh, it's um, 100 meters per 50 grams so 200 meters for 100 grams and what I did, I knitted the rib longer, I folded it, I seamed it together by knitting both, uh, both layers together and then I just continued with the mosaic knitting on the top. It's in black and grey. And I couldn't stop laughing when I tried it on because not only because uh, of the construction and uh, how cute it looked, but also because uh, it, it's too big on me. <laughs> so when I put it on and with this construction, I, I'm grateful for them just for those laughs that I had uh, when I tried it on. There is something else I want to show you and I feel a little bit in a hurry. I shouldn't really because I'm going to Edinburgh, Scotland in a couple of days. We've arranged uh, to meet up. There is a yarn festival as well that is uh, going on 
but uh, that's really an excuse. Uh, we arranged uh, with two friends of mine, uh, Amy Palco, who lives uh, in uh, in Edinburgh, and Jackie Rose from Jackson Rose um, Channel. Amy Palco is from The Meaningful Stitch. We arranged to meet uh, for that yarn festival there. So I'm going in a couple of days. And the idea was that I'm also going to record a video of getting ready for Edinburgh, but I don't think that's going to happen because I'm, I'm leaving in a couple of days and I need to edit this one and uh, upload it. So I think getting ready for Edinburgh is going to be together with the Edinburgh vlog. But I'm making, um, again, I don't know if this is going to be finished in time for Edinburgh, for Scotland. But I'm making one of my, uh, I started this um, maybe last month or something like that. I didn't really show you, but it's one of my in and out raglans, but I wanted to add some interest to it. And I didn't make a very tall, uh, like a uh, turtle neck that I usually do, the mock neck. It's a bit shorter, um, but I wanted to add some interest. And I did the uh, mosaic knitting on the sleeves. No, this is not mosaic knitting, sorry, this is stranded color work. Um, and uh, what I did, I just kind of saw how many stitches I had on the sleeve because I had a bit of this uh, black yarn. This is Drop Sky in this beige color and I had a bit of uh, black black color in the same yarn and I, and I wanted to test it how it's going to look. So I saw how many stitches I had on the sleeve when I separated for the sleeves and I opened uh, one of my books, I think it was alternate with different uh, charts for color work and I found um, the chart that has those number of stitches that the sleeve can be divisible by and I just kind of used that chart uh, to, to do the, the color work on the sleeve. I didn't know if I'm going to have enough of the black yarn so I did the sleeves first and I made them three quarters. And then what I did is I continued on the body, but I just uh, making a few stripes and I think I need just this much more before I start the ribbing and then uh, it's going to be finished. So I really don't know. This was completely intuitive. I was just making it up as I go, you know, seeing how much of the black yarn I have. But I wanted to add some interest to my in and out raglans. So um, this is how it looks for now. Not that it looks much when it's bunched up, but I don't think I'm going to be able to block it, to finish it to block it and try it on for you guys before I upload this video. So this is probably going to be in the next video, the Edinburgh vlog. So that's that. I'm going to start editing this now so I can upload it and then I can focus on uh, slowly gathering stuff, everything that I need for Scotland and maybe record some footage that's going to be included in the next video, kind of a pre-trip. So I hope you are well, thank you for watching and um, I will see you soon, bye for now.